Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, I'm just outside here working in the shop a little bit on my hay roller. At the moment, it's not raining. From the looks of the clouds, it could. It's not good if it does, because I got hay down. I hope it don't. But anyways, I got my hay gathering reels mounted up. You can see six bolts all the way around and then I put a lot of flat washers on lug nuts just to double check you know be on the safe side and then on the back side here I have I have I did use 916 inch bolts for it and fender washers so that the bolts don't get pulled through the rubber as I'm going down the field and I stuck the rubber on the back side of this blade so that the edges don't cut it, cut the fingers off as they're being pushed back when they hit the ground or whatever, they don't get cut through here. And I used a smaller disc blade that covers that, the, those furrows that the big blades leave in the field. So I used those smaller blades, which as you can see, was just perfect. I didn't have to cut any of this edges off or anything. It worked, I mean, it's just perfect on there. So that's what I did on that. And I did the other side the same way. The only difference is the bottom edges, bottom part side of it, it's not angled in like it should be on that one as it is on this one here. Uh, which I really do like the way this thing's cupped a little bit in the middle. Cause it'll pick up the hay and toss it a little bit it'll work better but uh anyways yeah i got them on got them mounted up permanently and did the same thing you know i did twist it a little bit not much that old ring right there i did heat it up and kind of twist a little bit but i didn't push too much because i didn't want to snap that in half that was a pain to work on fix so uh but yeah i got that on there and I'm gonna grease it up pretty good next day or so. And hopefully get in the field and roll some hay with it, test these wheels out. I did lower the the uh, pickup just a little bit by the uh, tension spring right there. I, if I need to, I can raise it back up, no big deal. And this cutter bar, this cutter system I made, works perfect, you see it's closed right now because this bar is up against this bar here. And I did cut this uh, cable. I had a quite a big cable on here. I cut it where it's shorter and it only has the cable that it needs so it doesn't get wrapped up in itself. And as you can see, I mean, it just works good on here. Eventually I may put me another box right here so I can put three rows of twine on here and just say it's two. But we'll see, that's a later project. But uh, yeah, y'all wanted to see the progress on the gathering reel so there you go and also kind of widen the swath that i'm able to take on my hero right now so uh i'm going to take it out on field next day or two hopefully and try it out but yeah there you go that's what we got worked good well in theory <laughs> the real test is around getting this really heavy thick hay to get bailing you know rolling it so next project i'm saying get me a bell counter put on here i just gotta figure out where and how but uh i got order one i had one but i don't know where it's at now so but yeah i'll get me a bell counter on here get it installed and it'll be good to go y'all have a good one be safe take care and have a great week that's just the update on the hay roller all right bye-bye